Hi, I'm Alan Mendelson, and I'd like to talk about the solar eclipse that's coming up this Monday on the 21st. There's a lot of excitement and hoopla with the solar eclipse coming. However, what most people aren't thinking about is the high chances of permanent damage that can happen to the eye. So there's a misconception that if people wear sunglasses, including these are super sunglasses, they're Maui Gym, top of the line, that even wearing a pair of sunglasses, they think that they will be totally protected. That is absolutely not the case. One can have one pair, two pair, or even take the paper sunglasses and put one pair on top of the next, on top of the next, five, seven, ten pair of sunglasses. That will not protect the eye. So the problem is, just from watching the solar eclipse, that one minute, two minutes, five minutes can result in a permanent loss of vision, and I'm going to explain why in a few minutes. The key is prevention. So prevention, little prop, there's a simple thing. You can Google ISO 12312-2. Again, ISO 12312-2. If you Google, that will list the approved vendors. The American Astronomic Society has come out with approved vendors with paper glasses, cardboard glasses, sunglasses, but they're special ones that will prevent ocular damage. Your regular sunglasses basically are junk when looking at the eclipse. You can't use them. You'll have eye damage. Now, unfortunately, there are counterfeit sunglasses out there for the eclipse. That's why they have to say the ISO 12312-2. These are proven to be absolutely, totally safe and effective. Now, if you are utilizing one of those sunglasses, super, enjoy. If you're not, you should definitely be watching on television or on the computer, but not to be out watching with your own eyes. So what happens if one decides to take a chance? If you actually watch the eclipse, even for 30 seconds, 60 seconds, there is permanent damage to a part of the retina called the retinal pigment epithelium. I'm going to explain simple terms. So this is a model of the human eye. What happens is the light rays will go through the cornea, which is the clear dome, through the lens in the eye, and they come to focus the back layer called the retina. Now most people think in terms of the retina as being a single structure. In actuality, the retina has 10 separate layers. It's almost like taking 10 tissues and putting one on top of the next, on top of the next. I'm gonna stop here at three, but hypothetically it would be going 10 layers. The very innermost layer of the 10 is the retinal pigment epithelium. So the light rays go through the eye, cause damage, it's permanent damage. So the tricky part, the hard part is, well, if you touch a hot stove or oven, your pain fibers tell you quickly, move your fingers away. But the retina does not have pain fibers. So someone could be staring at the eclipse thinking, hey, I'm getting away with this, I'm doing fine, while there's permanent damage. Now why is there damage? It's mostly a photochemical reaction where that retinal pigment epithelium is damaged, but also a little bit of a thermal. So after it happens, after viewing the eclipse, usually you really don't notice anything for an hour or two, but then suddenly, over the next two, three, four hours after viewing, the vision will start to rapidly decline so that those who have inadvertently or intentionally taken a chance, they will notice, number one, a marked drop in their vision. Number two, things will be considerably distorted. Number three, objects will appear to be much smaller than they are in real life. So clearly something's wrong and that's what will prompt someone to seek medical attention. The problem is, it takes months, if someone's lucky, they'll get partial recovery. More commonly, without recovery, uh, there's permanent damage. So it could be a lifetime of no driving, losing out on a lot of occupational opportunities, things like that. So prevention is absolutely the key. It will prevent the damage, uh, but tragically, in just 30 seconds or one minute, 
one can lose out on the ability of a lifetime of a lot of fun, exciting things. So please remember, Google ISO 123-2. If you don't have one that's approved, you're better off just watching on TV, watching on videos, things like that. And even though I love sunglasses that are good quality like these Maui Gym, you can put one pair on top of the next, you will not have protection. So normally this works great, but in this case, no. You have to have the approved ones. Uh, be safe and enjoy the 21st, but please don't look at the eclipse. Thank you very much. Bye.